a very good evening to all it's my pleasure to introduce my student shobhit garg he go secured a, a rank 3 in uh, stage 2 of uh, inass moreover he also got a uh, rank 5 in uh, common merit list and uh, shobhit can you introduce yourself good evening sir uh, sir uh, i am uh, dr shobhit garg uh, i am currently pursuing my md in medicine from molanza medical college delhi uh, originally i am from uttar pradesh and i did my mbbs from kirmc lucknow and uh, i have given this year's inisss in exam in which i have scored a rank of 3 in aims and 5 uh, in the common merit list so uh, tell me more about uh, your uh, preparation how you prepare for the exam and uh, which all uh, study material do you used and uh, uh, what all what all were your uh, uh, how did you learn gastroenterology like how, how was your preparation for the exam uh so, uh so i uh, started preparation for uh, the super specialty exam in the late second year onwards uh, so i uh, uh, decided to pursue my uh, dm in gastroenterology in the late second year and uh, we got to go uh, get very uh, much exposure also to both hepat and gastro cases in our college so that's where my interest came from so i uh, uh, took the subscription of marrow and initially i, I was preparing for both neat uh, and as well as ini so i Uh, watched general medicine uh, videos of uh, Rakesh Nair sir and uh, hepat and gastro videos from Marrow, uh, and apa- along with that I did question bank sir, and from Sledinger I could only read uh, bit, uh, some chapters in uh, inc- which included hepatology and uh, malabsorption part from the gastroenterology part sir. Uh, so that was a main uh, uh, strategy for my preparation sir. ISC master class also you read right? ISC master yes, class sir. and. Uh... Yes, yeah. sir. Uh, uh, yes, sir. I uh, sir, subscribe to the YouTube channel of Indian Society of Gastroenterology, in, in which they uh, are deal with the master class, in which the residents uh, present cases, and there's a very good discussion uh, in between all the esteemed faculties, and we get to get a basic practical approach to the various gastroenterologic disorders. That was very helpful to me, sir. So this ISC master class help you more during the stage one or stage two of the AIMS exams. Uh, they help me more in the stage two, sir, because uh, they develop a uh, approach towards how we approach the case uh, of uh, uh, a gastroenterology disorder, gastro- gastric disorder. Like for example, they asked me to or approach to hepatitis B infection in an asymptomatic patient, and uh, there was a ISG video on that uh, by Sarin sir, which I watched. So that uh, helped me a lot during that time. uh you watch both uh, gastroenterology videos as well as hepatology video from isc right yes sir yes sir from gastroenterology i uh, i watched approach to dysphagia approach to dyspepsia approach to constipation and sir approach to acute pancreatitis and in hepatitis i read about approach to viral hepatitis and uh, uh, in cld i read about uh, approaching a case of ascites and like that sir it was very helpful to develop an approach So you like a uh, gastroenterology more or hepatology more? Which uh, which one you prefer uh, to practice? Like sir, uh, you sir, like I more gastro prefer, or more hepato? Sir, I prefer to practice more gastroenterology uh, because uh, uh, because I uh, think uh, that uh, I am more interested in interventions also along with the clinical. But uh, in hepatology also, sir, uh, there uh, I am interested in cases like for which we have gotten exposure, like for uh, chronic liver disease cases, viral hepatitis cases. and uh, also in gastroenterology part sir we have had exposure about malabs options and i have seen endoscopies been so that evolved interest in uh, more in gastroenterology sir so i plan to pursue my further career in more in gastroenterology only so you are planning to take in aims right yes sir i have planning to take in aims new delhi sir only uh, uh, how how uh, did your family supported you during your uh, preparation time Uh, so actually uh, both of my parents are doctors only so they know that um, in medical there is a long journey ahead so they were very supportive and knew that when i joined md medicine they knew i will be doing uh, at least dm courses from some branch so they they were also prepared they were always prepared uh, for this long uh, uh, journey so they always motivated me and supported me during hard times and they also understood that uh, uh, it will take uh, some uh, around 11 to 12 years to complete my education completely so when you started your preparation uh, by what time in your md you started your preparation for the inai uh, uh, sir uh, uh, we i started my preparation the late second year uh, around uh, in the month of, month of september and october last year sir 
Uh, because uh, so, sorry sir in the march uh, last year because uh, actually we, we we had a prolonged first year because of the covid pandemic so our juniors came late so our second year was cut short so uh, uh, when uh, at the late second year and at the just the starting of the third year i uh, started preparation of uh, for uh, super specialty sir okay it's a great thing no because you are about to complete your uh, md and before that you secured a good rank in names and that to uh, the dream of most of the uh, residents uh, all over india to be a student of aims especially the delhi aims because um, they you, you will have a lot of exposure in uh, hepatology as well as in gastroenterology and like in bj you, you will have exposure both in hepatology as well as in gastroenterology so best of luck your for your future and uh, uh you will become a great gastroenterologist uh, over the course of time and uh, all the best for your future and uh, once again i want to congratulate you for uh, getting such a good rank that too in a uh, first chance before uh, finishing your uh, md and all the best thank for you, your sir. future thank, thank you. you sir thank you